um, heading west from uh, the Chicago Loop uh, to one of our other neighborhoods that we're going to tell you about, Logan Square. Yeah, absolutely. We're excited to be here. Uh, Logan Square is a, a prominent neighborhood, um, you know, on the northwest side of the city, uh, growing in popularity over the last uh, 10 to 15 and 20 years. Um, and uh, there's so much to see and discover. We're going to show you some of the highlights. Can't wait. Um, we are in Logan Square proper, I guess. Um, you know, just a couple blocks away from the Blue Line stop. Uh, right where we're standing right now is uh, where they have the farmer's market. Um, Sundays, I think, April through November. It's one of the best farmer's markets in the city. Um, I'm on the 606. Yeah, how about it? I've been wanting to come here for ages. Yeah, being a walker and a yeah. lover of nature and yeah. a photographer, it's uh -huh. a good spot for you and a lot of other people. It's a great addition to Chicago, um, you know, good use of an old trade line and um, really a sort of the crown jewel of uh, Logan Square. Um, uh -huh. Well, and also all of the other neighborhoods that. Uh, that it extends to. It's 2.7 miles long. Um, it, uh, you know, has brought up the value of real estate it has. all along yeah. it. And, um, and they're going to yeah. expand it, right? They're going to expand it. They're going to uh -huh. expand it over the north branch of the Chicago River uh -huh. um, into that new development that's happening over there. So, uh, you know, just a, another example of uh, reusing something old that Chicago does so well and um, really kind of bringing value to something that wasn't being used yeah, in any that's meaningful That's one of way. the great things about Chicago, for sure. Standing in one of the most uh, famous monuments, actually, in Chicago, right? Yeah, it uh, uh, was commissioned in 1914 for the uh, state's 100th birthday, um, and the architect is Henry uh, Bacon, who also famously designed the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. So it's a, it's a windy, gray day here in Logan Square, and we're just seeing some of the sights. This is one of them. You can see it pretty much from, uh, you know, anywhere around um, the square itself. Palmer Square, which is another lovely park in Chicago and in the Logan Square area. I think it's it's seven acres. Seven acres, yeah, yeah. that's what we uh, read. Um, was part of the boulevard system when that was uh, developed in the late 1800s, 1870 maybe it might be the date. It's a seven acre park. Uh, used to be uh, famous probably before cars. People would cycle around the square, but now uh, it's just a seven acre park that a lot of runners enjoy. Uh, kids, apparently there's a, a, a velveteen rabbit themed uh, playground that a lot of kids enjoy. And um, yeah, I know this uh, area well. Uh, in fact, sold some real estate uh, not too far away. And that'll give you an indication of what you could buy for 500000 Yeah, that'll be our next video. Yep. You know, one of the greatest gems of Chicago that a lot of people really don't talk about too much is the boulevard system and the vision of the um, how it was originally conceived to tie together all the, all of Chicago, actually. Yeah, a lot of uh, parks were, uh, you know, very beautiful, big, famous parks are tied together through the boulevard system. Uh, it's uh, 28 miles. I have some information here. To my left, uh, 540 acres, 
you know, of parks, but also parkways in between the streets. And um, really, I mean, just uh, a beautiful way to see the city. I mean, it really, um, the city's motto is Herbs and Orto, which uh, stands for city in a garden. And I think a lot of that comes from, you know, this boulevard system that, that really brings a lot of natural elements and nature to the city itself. So. It really does. So a lot of good real estate, a lot of nice parks, a lot of things to do with your family. And uh, Logan Square and Palmer Square um, are certainly part of that system. So.